The sound and smell of rain is what woke us up the next morning. A welcome change after the heat we experienced the previous few days. So coffee, like always, was definitely a priority. So we filled up Uncle Stan, brushed up pearly whites, and off we went. I'm driving down the Good morning from Pulentua. We had quite an eventful night last night. Um, some lions in the area in the pan, busy chasing um, Roy Hartebeest right in front of our camp, yeah. and then uh, when we went to sleep last night, Ricky and I were fast asleep. I must say, I'm quite a light sleeper, Eric, and I didn't hear anything but uh, Vianna and Ilana. They heard the lions roaring very, very close last yeah. night. They said it sounded um, like they were just behind number three, which would make sense because they did chase their way out of the beast to number three area. Um, so we'll see. Maybe they caught something last night yeah. somewhere. Let's go have there. a look. Let's go have a look what we can find. But I can't believe we didn't hear that, Eric. Yeah, no, uh, I think we were very tired. It was a long road yesterday. Yeah. But uh, yeah, hopefully tonight we'll hear a, a roar or two. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, we'll okay. see you guys on the road. Cheers. Bye. How's the coffee, Riggs? Mm, it's not really coffee, it tastes like tea. <laughs> it's very, very, very light, <laughs> flow. <laughs> not so strong. Not so strong, yeah. I'm I'm not a big, um, strong coffee drinker and it's even a bit weak for me. That is the word, it's weak. <laughs> okay, but we are here at, what picnic site are we, Riggs? Layers Dry. Layers Dry picnic site. We are drinking our coffee. And having our a rusky, tea. our tea, Vicky says. It's quite rainy this morning. The clouds that way look quite ominous. So we don't know, we're probably going to turn around and go back to the camp direction. There were lion tracks in our access road when we went out this morning. So that's pretty cool. But we thought they were, we knew that they were close by. So yeah. Oh, there were leopard tracks in the road now, which was pretty cool. Um, leopard tracks with a little cubby that we saw walking down the road. That's one thing that I really love about the Khalakhari is tracking the animals or seeing the tracks. It's really fun and even though we didn't see the leopard it's really it's cool to see the tracks. So it's, it's close by. <laughs> it's close by. Yeah. Can we say we see we saw a leopard because we saw the leopard tracks? No. <laughs> Can't we say that? <laughs> okay but we saw leopard tracks with a cub so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can find further and just enjoy the day. Yad Pulenswa.
Making our second round of coffee and again getting tea, we realized our grinder was at fault and not grinding the beans fine enough to brew proper coffee. Comment down below if you have any suggestion for a replacement coffee grinder. So we ditched the coffee and grabbed the next best thing to enjoy. Vian's parents probably prepared the best lunch of the trip from the leftover Texan steak from the previous night. After which we took a stroll through Palenzo exploring the campsites. desperate need to wash the Kalahari dust of our faces. We left our shower bag in the sun to heat up. Okay, so we're going for a quick drive to the waterhole now after getting back to camp and having a lovely brunch. It was um, Vian's parents' turn to make brunch and, and supper last night and they made lots of Texan steaks and then there was leftovers and then they just chopped up the Texan steak with nice onions, they caramelized the onions a bit and some chutney and Ricky was that now nice sure. with a pop and um, the Texan steak. I'm definitely going to steal that recipe. Yeah. And then we just went for a quick walk through camp. There's nobody else in camp at the moment. So we just went to go look at the other campsites. There are only three, Pulenzo only has three campsites the bathrooms are very very neat yeah even neater than at Roy Pitts which is really cool um, just just unfortunate that number three or number one that we are staying at um, its bathrooms have burned down with the uh, fires last year but we do have the best view yeah we're just going to the water hole to check what birds there are there and then we are going back to camp So we are just leaving the water hole. What water hole is it, Rex? Polenzo. Oh, it's the Polenzo water hole. Yeah. <laughs> Very difficult to remember. Um, anyway, and we got some nice jackal at the water hole. Two jackal. Mm. Actually, three. The one went away, but the two of them came to the water hole and drank water and so on. It was very nice to see. Now we are just going to the next waterhole. What is it called, Rix? Uh, Cosa. 
the sun will check now to make sure but we are going to eat now it's no, about that's the name i'm not just sure i'm, not sure I'm pronouncing it oh right. okay we are going to eat it about six kilos away so we're just quickly going to eat check what's there and then we'll go back we got two different animal food trucks or actually three three different animal food trucks through the camp the one was a little mongoose which is very cute don't mind it and then the other one was a big male lion they saw the footprints this morning some people have driven over it now um, but a big male lion walked right through our camp um, through Pulenswa which is pretty cool so he walked pretty much right through our camp and then we also got leopard footprints in camp um, yeah they actually went up to number two the leopard footprints were on yeah so that's pretty cool so we know there's leopard and lion in the area um, not too sure if I want to meet a leopard at night but it would be cool to see him if I'm safely in my car sure. <laughs> but anyway let's see what we can find at the next hotel After our midday drive, it was shower time. And what a shower it was. Vian spoiled us by letting us use their 12 volt shower. So we just poured our actually quite hot water into a bucket. And the rest is history. What a treat. Before the corrugation start, we better tell them what we are up to. Yeah. Um, so we are going out for an evening drive. We're just going to go check at the water hole again and then we'll be back at camp. It's our turn to bright tonight. What's on the menu tonight, Rex? So we have some ribs, sticky ribs and jalapeno poppers for starters. Then I'm going to make a little butternut with um, brown onion soup that yeah. we'll put on the fire. So yeah, but let's see what this drive has in store for us and then we'll come back to a lovely braai. Alright. some predators trying to catch them unfortunately none of them were successful um, we saw now that nobody has set up camp here at um, Pulenswa today 
But the closest camp to us, I think, is what is the camp that's up uh, north? Grootkolk. Grootkolk, which is like 50 kilos away, yeah. more or less, just under 50. And then Norsop, which is 60 kilos. So those are the closest people to us, Rix. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's pretty exclusive, very special. Yeah. yeah. So we are the only people at Pulenswa today. Love at the, it. At the Million Star Hotel. At the Million Star Hotel. <laughs> okay. But let's go home and put on that fire rig so that we can dry because the, this cloud looks pretty ominous. Yeah, it does. It's uh, building up again. Yeah. But it seems to be that the wind picked up now, so it seems to be blowing away uh, we'll as well. We'll see what happens. But uh, let's get the fire going as quickly as possible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Yummy, Riggy. My very lucky. So cool, my love. That's the end of our second day at Pulinswa. It started raining now. Um, we timed it perfectly with yeah. our braai and so on. We had a little nightcap for pudding. Yeah, a little um, glass of amarula. A little glass of amarula. The thunder and lightning started coming closer and closer and closer. Um, we will might get into our car if it gets too close. So we had a good day today, Eric. Yeah, good day. Some uh, some bad dead foxes was nice. That was very cute. We didn't get good video of it because they were a bit far. But the, it was nice to watch. Yeah, we saw it. I was, uh, yeah, was nice busy watch. watching with the binoculars. Yeah. It was good to see. Yeah. But in any case, so let's uh, see how the, the night turns out. Yeah. We'll keep you informed. So if, yeah. if you don't see us, then uh, it all went well. It all went well. If you see us again, then uh, we are probably in the car. <laughs> any case, so we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Chris, oh, I don't know where it's going to be, the buttons. Cheers. <laughs> Bye. You can see Rick is now in the car. Hey Rick. Yep. <laughs> um, the thunder and lightning just got a little beery worse. No, it got a lot worse. <laughs> it got a lot worse. But it's pretty scary yeah, in the middle of nowhere, hey Rick, with this yeah. thunder, especially on your ground tent. So we, I grabbed a blankie. So we have a blankie and. <laughs> We are just chilling in our car now. I think we're going to be here for a while. Do you think so? Yep. I'm tired. But for now, we are staying in the car for a little bit. Yep. Okay, bye. <laughs> All thumbs for us. Thank you for joining us for this stormy day at Pelenswa. We hope you enjoyed it and that you are already busy booking your visit to this gem of Southern Africa. Please correct us if we misidentified any birds during our stay. Enjoy the rest of our trip. Until the next one. Cheers. Alright, so we are on the road again after a, just a bit of a relax. Oh, bump the other day. Okay, so we are going on our first little drive. What's funny if it's first little drive? A lovely jalapeno popper. <laughs>